Larry kept saying to me, why don't you write? Why don't you write? And I kept saying, well, I, I don't think I can. And he said, well, for God's sake, if you don't try, you don't know, do you? Try. That's Gerald Durrell, naturalist, conservationist, and the founder of the zoo on Jersey. In Stories from a Corfu Childhood, the new audiobook from Crimson Cats, Jerry himself reads some of his own stories. He was, of course, a best-selling author, but a very reluctant writer. He only began writing at the instigation of his brother Larry after Jerry's first few animal collecting trips had lost him a lot of money. So I said, well, all right, I'll write a book about my three expeditions. He said, you'll do nothing of the sort. He said, you'll write a book about one expedition. I said, but I, I don't think I've got enough material. He said, just start writing and see. And sure enough, I'd be writing still if we hadn't counted up the words one night and discovered it was about 75,000 <laughs> words. One of his best-known books is My Family and Other Animals. But how did his family react to this and the other books he wrote about them? They were very annoyed to begin with. They kept saying to me, but that never happened. And I'd say, well, yes, but don't you remember so and so and so and so and so? And, so. and then they'd say, oh, yes, oh, yes, you're right. But how do you remember it? <laughs> they got quite indignant. But they eventually suffered it. You know, when people kept coming up to them and asking them for their autograph, they forgave me. The audiobook, Stories from a Corfu Childhood, is available now from Crimson Cats as a double CD pack for fourteen ninety nine plus post and packing or at 8 for the MP3 download. <laughs>